Hello everyone, this is Xenia from Abstract Inspiration and welcome to my channel. Today I have to share with you my very first official video for the Shimmers education team. I'm very excited to join them for 2017 and uh, if you're already following my channel or my Instagram, uh, you probably already know that I'm a very enthusiastic crafter and artist and I really like to get into a bunch of different types of crafts and um, little things so I do a lot of stuff I do scrapbooking I do art journaling I do mixed media altered items I do a bunch of different things so um, when I was talking with uh, the coordinator, the design team coordinator, uh, Samantha, she told me that I uh, I can do anything I want for my project and I was not sure what to go for. I wanted to do something that would interest uh, a wide audience out there. So I wasn't sure uh, on what type of project to focus. So what came to me was that I could show you how I apply the same colors to a couple of different types of projects. And uh, it's kind of like an experimental idea. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, I will continue doing it. If you don't find it that interesting, uh, please uh, give me your feedback and I will be sure to do something that will be more interesting for you. I'm just trying to find, you know, a good balance. <laughs> so. Let's start uh, with this first <laughs> video. I picked a small color palette here. Uh, I'm trying to put a color palette that is uh, versatile and you know do a nice selection of colors that can be used for different things. And at the same time, I'm trying to make it uh, a little bit um, on more on the affordable side. I wouldn't want to put like. Uh, 10 types of paste and if you really like it, it will be a bit pricey for you to get. So if you think that these projects and these colors inspire you, um, I have this list and you can just get them together. It will be on a decent price range, I hope, um, or that's what I tried. So you can try them out and play because it's really hard to pick colors when you have this vast selection of products and uh, colors to choose from and you know you don't know where to start so I'm hoping I can offer you a nice starting point and if you're wondering which colors to pick um, you know this is a nice suggestion you can just grab these colors and do a couple of things with them and they work nice together so okay so first let's take a look at the colors I chose uh, the first one is one of the brand new products by Shimmers. It's a pasties and the color is Baby Boy Blue. There we go. And then I picked two sprays. The first one is a spritz in Sapphire. And although spritz are usually more uh, light, not so pigmented, this color is really pretty and bright and it comes out really nicely. And the next spray is the colorings in Peachy Keen. You can see it here. And I chose this one basically because I thought, you know, a more orange, reddish, well not reddish, but this kind of orange tone could be, could work nicely for a skin tone. And then I picked two purples. First one is an aqua hues in African violet. You can see it here. And then I went for a darker shade, which is a shimmers paint in Berrylicious. This one can work really nicely for shading and shadows and things like that. So here you can see the swatching, all the colors together. They look pretty beautiful and they do work very nice together. So now we took a look into that. I'm going to put you on fast forward and show you the process of creating an art journaling spread. And I will see you again in the end to talk about a couple more projects I created with this color palette. So inspired by this color palette, I wanted to create a very 
floaty and magical sort of looking page and um, starting with the sprays, um, spraying down some of the peachy keen and the sapphire I'm actually spraying them on gessoed surface so the ink doesn't soak up and I'm just closing my book to let them blend together now of course you know orange and blue don't mix beautifully well depending on what you want but what I wanted was to create some shadows some random shadows on my page to help me with the composition I didn't want to build my page to structure in the background I wanted to be very random and uh, you know uh, fun so I just let the colors blend on their own to create the shadows I will have on my page and you know it's just the first layer you don't need to bother much about this I just it's a beautiful neutral shade don't get me wrong but if you're a person that likes bright colors don't get discouraged about this you always need some shadows and some neutrals in your page they just bring everything to life and make them look more uh, beautiful and natural so use the baby boy blue pasties to add uh, some uh, stencil and then I'm using the same stencil to rub off some color using a baby wipe you see there on the opposite corners and well when I let that dry a little bit you don't really need to uh, dry the pasties completely just a little bit to let you work uh, around this I'm getting back on my spray my peachy keen and using it to color some of the empty spaces that I created with a stencil so I'm um, basically I don't force it too much I just go with it I let the products and the accidents uh, lead the way to create this page so I'm just filling the empty spots basically I don't draw something on my own I don't struggle too much with composition or anything like that so it's as simple as that I'm going in with some of the African violet which I absolutely love and I don't know if you can tell but it I think it's kind of uh, it looks it looks like that on the screen but it feels like a glaze I don't know it's really really beautiful I absolutely love this color and it kind of has that shiny finish although it's not shimmery the color but the way it dries it's so beautiful and you see because uh, the background has gesso I can still lift a little bit of those darker shades and blend them in my little circles over there and that creates like a nice shaded circle it doesn't look flat or you know like silly I'm also adding some smaller circles with the Berrylicious shimmers and this is very rich and opaque color so I'm just trying to add a tiny little bit every time because I still want to have some of the color of the background peeking through and that's also why I don't cover up a lot I don't make big circles I just go for some smaller ones and this is actually my main base um, and it does seem too random right now I understand but to help it look more defined and intentional because so far it was all like random bits here and there but to turn it in a more intentional design I'm taking a white paint pen and I'm outlining the design of the stencil that I used for the pasties and you see it all of a sudden it looks like something I drew and colored but <laughs> it's actually the other way around right you know that because you know the process but you can see that's a really nice trick to make your design look more intentional and you know more thoughtful maybe <laughs> so I'm also outlining some of the circles and especially this big one I, I'm gonna fill it in with some uh, tiny marks because I felt like you know it was a big area and needed something more so I'm just creating this kind of like at the start it started like a false stitching idea but I ended up uh, filling the whole thing 
And I'm also going to go in and fill the smaller circles with some dots. And uh, I really feel that this brings those little circles to life because they're so dark and they didn't have any color variation in them. So they really needed something to help them pop and not look like solid and dull. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit more shading on that bigger circle since it was the big one. It needed something uh, more to get the attention. And that's it. So this is the final page. It's, you know, an abstract fancy kind of thing. I really love playing with shapes and things like that. I think it has a sort of depth to it. And you know, uh, while I was working on it, at some point it sort of sort of felt kind of like a, like a space scape kind of thing. You can say like some areas look like planets and these like like rocks, comets and things like that. So just by placing around color and shapes, you can just let your imagination run wild and uh, see whatever you want to see on the page, right? So, this was a page we created together, but other than this, I created some more projects with this uh, pa uh, color palette. I went ahead and made a little card, and you see it's a very simple card, but I really think it's uh, a cute little uh, thing you can give. So to create this one, I took the different colors and did a light wash. This one is a spritz. This one is peachy keen, and then I have the African violet in the aqua, the shimmers paint on the bottom, and I use the pasties to through a stencil to write this word, and then I use the marker to kind of do some hand lettering here. So it's a very easy card to put together, and you can apply this uh, color palette to really anything. I just thought it would be fun to do like a rate, well, not rainbow, but this gradient wash because I really love the way these colors laid next to each other. And the third project I created, uh, I did a face painting. And I especially wanted to show you this one because at first when you look at these colors, they don't really strike you as a portrait painting kind of palette, but you can totally make it work. The only thing I used here, other than these colors, was just gesso. Nothing else other than gesso was used on this page. I used the gesso to mix with the peachy keen to create the skin tone, and I just kept adding more to make the cheeks blush. I used, you know, the bla the berylicious to add, you know, the shading, the eyes and the lips, and you know, the shading at the neck here. The shirt is with the berylicious and the flower on her head as well. And this one is for Peachy Keen. And I basically used the blues, the sapphire, the sapphire and the baby boy blue for the hair, which I also mixed with the African violet. So you can see how nicely these colors work together and they complement each other and they're meant for each other. You can do shading, you can do highlights. You can have some pops of color. I could totally have added more of the peachy keen and have some more bright areas. I just decided to try a more muted look because that's what I wanted to go for. And I think it worked really nicely. Um, so these were my three projects uh, created with this color selection here. I really think it's a fun concept to get some specific colors and try to apply them in different uh, types of crafts and different techniques and all that all the all those things so let me know if you like this what do you think about this um you want to see some more or you'd prefer more of a the usual just process video on the page or on a scrapbook page or an art journaling page or something like that just let me know I, I it's you know everything is here to inspire you and help you uh, to use your shimmers products so if it's not working then 
we can try something that will work so just let me know i just think this is really uh, a good idea I, I would personally love to see something like that because you know when you see some colors on a website and you're shopping online it's kind of hard to decide what to get because the colors are not exactly true to your to to what you get in real life when you see it on the screen and of course the screen can't show you how intense or how pastel and light a color will be or how it will react with a specific color so when you see these colors together in action like in a mini uh, a small selection of colors and you can see how they actually work and it, I think it's really nice and helpful to decide what to go for so that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching. As I said, let me know what you think and I will uh, act accordingly. Um, if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget that if you want to grab some shimmers products, you just mention my name and your order and you can get a free sample product uh, of your choice. So thanks again and I will see you again next time. Bye!